there are several different types of diabetic ulcers. And um, Dr. Fernandez, can you explain the difference between the ones that we're going to see here on this graphic, starting with the neuropathic ulcer? It, a neuropathic ulcer is a type of ulcer that the patient has. An ulcer, again, in this, we're, we're calling for uh, all intents and purposes a hole. Right. Right, on, on the skin, surrounded by a heavy, very thick callus formation. Uh, the typical neuropathic ulcer has a, a reasonable amount of blood supply, so the, the, the base of the ulcer looks uh, beefy red, if mm -hmm. you will, uh, and it looks healthy at the base, it doesn't appear infected, and the reason for the big callus around it is the patients that have neuropathy and don't have good sensation, when they keep pressing that area, the only defense that the foot has is to develop a real thick uh, callus almost around Almost like it. a protection They're Almost it. like a protection yes. of its own. So the patients, uh, because it is neuropathic, the patients don't feel, it's uh, essentially a painless ulceration of the foot. So then we have a combination of the neuropathic um, ulcer and the ischemic ulcer and the neuroschemic ulcer. Correct. So this is that a combination Th that of both? That is absolutely a combination. The ischemic okay. ulcer is more of what Dr. Kinman was uh, referring to. Those okay. are the patients with critical limb ischemia that have now developed an ulceration that, that is due primarily uh, to the lack of blood supply to the mm -hmm. foot. Or if it started as a normal sore, it doesn't heal with time because mm -hmm the patient is not getting any blood supply to the area. So when you combine a, a, a neuropathy and lack of uh, blood supply from peripheral arterial disease in the foot, then you can have a neuropathic ischemic ulcer and a combination thereof is very dangerous.